Hey guys, and welcome back to More Worlds Guns Gun Disassembly. We're doing the AT Boys, which is, it's now boys. Some people um, put an extra E in there to make it boys or anything. It's not, it's the AT Boys. It's an early um, British Commonwealth um, anti tank rifle. Um, it had many versions, and it was generally um, effective against lightly armored tanks, but generally extremely inefficient against um, heavy tanks which he medium to heavy tanks which was most of the German arsenal but very easy field strip it was quite an easy design to make so it was that was kind of to its advantage Oops, sorry. I had to have to click on the back of the caulking piece to put her in there so um, only thing is it was phased out kind of mid-war by the PM because it was just a better anti-tag rifle overall but um, it worked it was a functional design it was a functional gun it just um, didn't have as much stopping power as it sh needed or should have could have so anyway Get to our disassembly. We got pulled the magazine. You also want to pull the magazine assembly. Pull off the bolt, bolt group assembly. Pull off the talking piece. The striker. Striker sleeve. Main spring. And the bolt sleeve screw. Ejector. Extractor. Bolt wing assembly. Okay, we'll go to the back. We'll work our way from the back to the front. I apologize, the screws are on this side. Shoulder lower screw, shoulder upper screw, right trunation bearing, left trunation bearing. Probably not saying that right. Oop, I want to get there. The dose, or these, I apologize. Okay, once that's moved. Pull out the whole shoulder piece. Oops, there's a screw here you want to pull out. Shoulder grip screw. Then you can pull out the whole shoulder grip. Shoulder pad assembly. Brush cap. Buffer screw. Buffer spring. Cheek rest screw. Pull out the cheek rest. Oops. Cheek rest lower plate, cheek rest upper plate, and you do want a cheek rest for this gun because it has a mighty kick. But it's an AT gun, so it's going to, and considering how large the rounds are, but the bigger the gun you get, generally, the more you want a, a rest on it. Buffer screw nut, body and barrel, rear sight body, magazine catch. Sorry, the side. Sear pin. Cradle slide. Sear. Ejector stop. Safety spring. Spring sear. Safety. Recoil spring. Recoil reducer deflector. Front body sight. Buffer cycle. Trigger guard screw two. Trigger guard screw one. Pull up the whole trigger guard. Oops. The same thing as here. There's a grip screw in there. Move the grip. Pull up the trigger pull spring. Oops. Trigger screw. Trigger and then trigger ball. Big pivot screw in the front, which is for the um, tripod pivot. Pivot washer. Oops. Front support hinge screw. Front support hinge. Front support catch. Support. Okay, we'll move. 
trunnions. What am I missing? Probably missing a lot. Oh, this piece. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I've got the screw. Recite screw. Recite detent. Recite switch assembly. Recite slide. And there we go. So, yeah, very complex gun. But it's a, uh, for its purpose, it has to be complex. It's, you can't make a simple to make a T gun. Like, there, it's not really a concept that lends itself to being very simple. Propelling a piece of metal to penetrate a, another really huge piece of metal. So, that's the rear sight body. Trinions. Front sight body. Oh, sorry. Forgot to re re coil reducer deflector. Coil reducer. Ejector stop. Magazine catch. Safety. Cradle slide. Safety spring. Oh, okay, the sear spin goes in first, then the sear, and then the sear pin. Click on that out of like nowhere, so I'll put that back in. Cheek upper rest, cheek lower rest, that's turn highlighting here. Barber screw nut. Grip, grip screw, trigger pull, trigger, trigger screw, trigger pull spring, trigger guard. Let's reassemble this. Bolt screw sleeve, buffer, oops, that's parts of metal. That is as well, but I will. Main spring, striker sleeve, put back on the bolt rig assembly, the extractor, the ejector, there's a firing pin. Oh, there's the striker. That's what I was talking about. I guess it's not really a firing pin, but it's a striker. Okay, so put back on the D's. Trigger guard screw one, trigger guard screw two, buffer cylinder, buffer screw, put back on the shoulder grip, shoulder grip screw, shoulder pad assembly, brush cap, put back on the whole shoulder piece, lower shoulder grip screw, Upper shoulder grip screw, let's reassemble this. Front catch. Front axle. Port head screw. Pivot. Pivot screw. Body and barrel goes back in. Right fresh on bearing. Left tree on bearing. Bolt group. Not in spring. And then last in the magazine. So it's a bit of reassembly, a bit of disassembly. Um, difficult gun. I don't think this is one I'll be doing in the game mode anytime soon. It's hard. But anyway, let's hop into operation. So. So. Yeah, full bolting action you have to do there. And there's no. Um, How to say, there's no um, gas cylinder to bolt it. You have to manually bolt it every time. But I guess with bolt actions, you always manually bolt it every time. But Top loading, so. But the thing is, 
the top loading isn't really blocking your view because the thing you're aiming at is a tank. So, not generally something you're too worried about. Your sight can um, flip up a little bit as well, as always, and you can flip up the bipod if you really need to, but good luck firing it without the bipod. It'll just be far, it'll just fly straight up in the air and probably even hurt your arm a little bit. But anyway. Hop into the x-ray mode, fire a couple shots off. Okay, so reload. I think it's two. Yeah, two stuff in this. So, I'm guessing it runs probably pretty similar to other guns, but we'll slow it down. Trigger is pulled. But so Paul pushes down the selector, which releases the bolt mechanisms group. So yeah, so there's actually a little Paul. This is the ticker Paul. Let's see it here. Oh. Okay, so yeah, trigger Paul. Push up this which releases pulls down. Releases the striker. Striker hits the, the bullet and the rest is history. So, you guys see that a couple more times, not anything too crazy. The only thing I guess to see is there's, um, I try to reduce some recoil here, in the front of the gun. And then they also try to reduce some recoil here. Well, this is really protect recoil, it's just kind of absorbing some of the pressure so it doesn't like shatter the gun but I guess it does probably help the recoil as well but pretty much this whole action has to come back so that's what this brings for when the fire pin is hit that whole action comes back because it's all because of the pressure of the gunpowder so that's just there to protect that action from just like getting shattered so. So anyway guys, thanks for coming out for some more World of Gun Gun Assembly and we'll see you in the next time for more. Thanks guys. Later. I guess I'll show you where the safety is as well. Sorry, I guess I didn't show you where the safety was. Um so on the other side? Oh probably right there, right? Yeah. Safety is a simple fl flip you switch around. Later guys. <laughs>